This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. Once evening comes, I find myself in the rain once again, this time in search of dinner. <laughs> dinner! I'm actually under an umbrella, unlike before. Bread? I doubt I'd be able to make dinner out of it. But... I just wanted to know whether she's actually home or not. I can't tell from where I'm standing. I guess I'll buy dinner somewhere else. No! You should absolutely... I go inside. Oh, he is going inside! Oh, Big Boy Yamamoto Jane. That's not my name! He seems to now call me only by a strange stage name. <laughs> That's not my name! That's not my name. It's Okazaki. Oh, so that's right. It's like a name of a person. So, what's going on? Are you a person? I'm a person. 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 I'm a Stop being aggressive. No, I'm not. Oh, I'm a person. I'm a person. I'm a person. Dude, sometimes you're cool and hilarious, and sometimes you're just aggressive, and I don't like it. He's like the schoolyard bully shaking down an elementary school student. I am sure this is not Nagisa's route. I'm not a customer. Did Furukawa come home? I'm gonna call you Frogman. No, I'm talking about your daughter. Nagisa ka? Nope, that won't be until two or three routes from now. Is she back yet or not? Our older brother's favorite character is Akio? Really? I mean, he was freaking awesome in the laser tag part. But other than that, he's just kind of like, I'm grumpy, you're gonna spend money here. You hear me? By the way, I smoke a lot. <laughs> I'm <sighs> close. She got the Okazaki part, right? It's just Okazaki. Is Nagisa home? I love Yoshino. He's great. Yoshi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, try to explain your way out of this one, smoky man. Pops here was trying to make me buy your bread in exchange for that information. Seems like he can't sell any unless he does something shady like that. <laughs> wow! <laughs> we just said it. Just learn to get better. She starts to sniffle. Okay, you're acting like an elementary school student, Sanai. She darts off. Whoa, look at those teeth, man. <laughs> Furukawa's dad starts stuffing leftover bread into his mouth and then... He follows after her screaming all the way. And they just leave the bakery deserted. Anyone could take anything. I just stare at the scene like an idiot. Uh, I have something else I need to be doing. Furukawa isn't back yet. This is a serious situation. I go back outside. <laughs> Alright, have a good time at work, Sonic. <laughs> I hear a voice from behind me. How, okay, Sanai's bread can't be that bad. Like, I mean, she made bread-flavored bread, which is just kind of meh. <laughs> My name is both written and pronounced Okazaki, you realize. <laughs> Love that rainbow. <laughs> I saw her leave for here, but I don't know where she went after that. I have a feeling it is. What about the store? I have a feeling the store would be better off unattended if he's your alternative. <laughs> then I'll search the road to school and, uh... Right, then, Sanai-san, you check anywhere you think she might go. 
Sanaisan puts her own umbrella up and then rushes into the rain. After I see her run off, I start retracing the path I took to get here. I see a small umbrella flapping about around the edge of the road. I love the rain CGs. These are BGs. I head toward the same side of the road and realize that it's a child about elementary school age. Could he be looking for something? I pass by and head to school. I wonder if that's the guy, uh, the kid from the Yukine route. Yu, I think was his name. The place is deserted. I've searched all about the club rooms and the courtyard, but Furukawa is nowhere to be found. I trudge along. I'm out of places to search. All I can do now is hope that Sanai-san comes up with something. I see the small umbrella again, still in the same place. I stop and stare for a while. Suddenly, I hear the whimper of an animal close to my ears. Caught by surprise, I look beside me to find a puppy on top of the wall. Oh! It's soaked and shaking. It probably can't get down. I reach out and hold it up. It has a collar on. I see, I think. As the child approaches me, I hold out the puppy. Is this what you were looking for? The child glances up and quickly breaks into a smile. Over there. I apathetically point toward the wall and then start to leave. He calls out for me to stop. To thank me? I don't even care about that. It's a pain. I decide to ignore the words. Wow. But his wording makes me turn around. Who are you talking about? Are you talking about your own sister? That's gotta be Nagisa. Was she wearing a school uniform? Which way did she go? I see. He sounds worried as he pats on the puppy's head. You ought to go home. It's late. Your parents are probably worried. You'll catch a cold if you stay in the rain any longer. The same goes for that dog. I'll thank her for you, so get going. Yep. Yeah, leave it to me. Yeah, be careful not to slip. I can hear the splish splash of the child's footsteps as he runs off. What an innocent kid. Alright then. Where is she going to give up and come back? When is she? My only option is to wait. How long has it been by now? Just as my wet hands start to feel numb and achy, I see the silhouette of someone hurrying toward me. No umbrella in hand. Wow, you are definitely going to catch a cold. Furukawa comes back holding an animal to her chest. Looking at what she's holding? That's... Not it! <laughs> I was wondering if Botan was going to be around here. She seems to have finally realized that it's me, not the kid who's waiting for her. There was. I made him go ahead and head home because it was getting late. He found his dog. He went home resting easy. You took the words out of my mouth. Oh, poor Botan. Well, that's definitely not a dog. Have you have you ever seen a dog before, Nagisa? She, <clears throat> she stoops forward, her hands on her knees. She grasps the wild piglet in her arms even harder. She lets out a cough. Are you okay? Oh, well, I bet Kyo is worried right now. She kneels next. You really are an idiot. Wow. Let's go. I pull her up by her shoulders. Are all dating sim protagonists this jerkish? Hey, anyone home? Furukawa's home is abandoned. What is that dad of hers doing? He's even abandoned his store duty. I decide to enter so that I can get Furukawa to a place where she can sleep. Oh wow, this is a nice. This looks nice. Actually, if she went straight to sleep, she'd definitely catch a cold. 
Her entire body is drenched. Her clothes must be wet down to her underwear. Well, that's not polite to say. But it's not like I could change her clothes for her. That's when I hear Sanai-san's voice. I'm saved. I found her. She's soaked, so please have her change clothes. She can change them on her own, I'm sure. I leave the rest in her hands and start to leave. It'd be improper for me to stay any longer. I step down from the hallway to the entryway. Yes, I... Nice to me. <laughs> hey, frog man. Furukawa's dad is there. <laughs> Very well. Beads of water are still dripping from his veins as he yells at me. The cigarette in his mouth has been put out, too. If you're, if you're not going to use those... Oh yeah, I never turned down free bread. I don't want him, old man. Well, apparently... So Tomia and I are not the same person. I would never turn down free bread. I make sure to stress the old man to get back at him for calling me kid. <laughs> yep. I take the umbrella up to the entrance and step outside over the under... Under the overhang. He's probably going to make another weird parting threat. I ignore him. I feel like the last thing I hear for the sound of the rain are a few words of gratitude. You know, for the Fuko route, there's a shocking lack of Fuko. And then... The bakery CGs are... The BGs, technically. Backgrounds. Am I going to have to return this thing to its owner? I grab it and pick it up. Well, Botan likes us, so... Oh boy, the illusionary world free. Well, while we're here, I think I'm going to take a quick bathroom break. I'll be back in a few minutes. And I am back. <laughs> I went to Culver's, I wish. <laughs> I want to see how Nagisa's doing, at the very least. Once it gets to be the afternoon, I visit the Furukawa Bread Bakery. Yes, I... You sound so excited to have a customer here. Sorry, old man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How exactly would I do that? That's so not going to happen. I'd imagine not. <laughs> What's up with your wife? <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Alright, I have to do this one. I don't see myself ever having a productive conversation with this guy. It's probably smartest to get Sanai-san in here. What's up with Sanai-san? Sanai? Sanai wa ore no tsumada. I, I know that. I had dinner with you all. Of course I know that. I'm trying to ask you if she's here or not. What is it now? Not where I was going. I never said anything like that. Could you just hurry up and get her in here? Square mouth. He calls out for her despite his grumbling. What were you about to say? Gra what? I think she was about to say gracias. <laughs> See, she's actually trying to be polite to us. I was just wondering how Furukawa was doing. <laughs> no, I never said that. Oh, 
Is this going to be like a running joke or something? She starts to sniffle again. She darts off. Oh, I want to go to the vocal orchard too. Alright, have fun, Marie. <laughs> Sanai is just as much of a troll as Akio. She's just less obvious. I don't really see that, but okay. The old man starts jamming leftover bread into his mouth then. He follows after her, screaming all the way. These two are weird. The store is empty. Talk about a family of fools. I stand there for a while, spaced out. This time I hear voices screaming from outside. Where are they running to? <laughs> they just up and abandon the bakery completely. The room falls silent. How long am I going to have to wait here? <laughs> the old man returns alone, apparently having given up on chasing Sanai-san. I'm not done yet. No. I just asked Sanai-san, remember? I want to know how Furukawa is doing. <laughs> Does she have a fever or anything? <laughs> he takes a deep drag on his cigarette, then exhales. <laughs> no, no, she's not! She just ran out! <laughs> no, I think Sanai-san is wandering around crying right about now. But I could tell from her idiotic back and forth with the old man that Furukawa wasn't in serious trouble. Just as he says, I stop worrying. So she'll be able to come to school tomorrow, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is exactly what happens. Sanai-san returns with impeccable timing. Wow, really? See ya. I leave before I get stranded there alone again. Wow. So, what should I do now? Well, I think you should return Botan to Kyo. Maybe he did that off-screen. If I want to just laze around and kill time, where else is there to go but Sunohara's room? Lots of places. Oh, hey. It's Yusuke. I'll help him out. Why not? This is apparently the route where we learn more about uh, Yoshino. Not sure how, but I'm cool. I'm cool with that. Alright, it's a new day. Morning. I've been awake for a bit, but I'm just lazing around in my bed. I wonder if Furukawa's fever has gotten any better. Is she waiting for me on the path of to school again? But what happened this weekend drove a bit of a wedge between the two of us. If I can feel it, then I'm certain she can too. She's even more perceptive than I am when it comes to relationship stuff. She worked hard for two days, but all she accomplished was to hurt someone else. Once she realized that, she called herself stupid. And you called her stupid, too! And what did I say in reply? You really are an idiot. It'd be one thing if she was thick-skinned, but... She's unusually delicate about these things. In the end, I was no different from her, all her other classmates that do nothing but hurt her. She must have realized that, too. Oh, well, guess I'll hook up with Fuko then. I'll, I'll go to school once it's noon. That's not a good strategy. After making the decision, I bury my face back into my futon. That's a bed. I leave the house so as to arrive at school during lunch. Okazaki. Just as I go to start climbing the hill, someone calls out to stop me. I know that voice. Yo, Higu-san. It's Sunohara. He too seems to be heading to school late. You know, this all started with what he said in the first place. He probably didn't have any ill intent, but it was a reckless thing to say all the same. No, but 
you could say the same thing about me. I'm also the kind of person who would easily let something like that slip out of his mouth. Very true. <laughs> Very true. So, if you insert yourself into a conversation between two people like that, it's not my problem if you end up getting your feelings hurt. I'd already warned her from the beginning. Ah, I really am a worthless delinquent of a student. I'm glad he's not just taking all his aggression out on Sonora, though. Yeah, but... She knew that and still decided to butt in. She's the only person who I know who would do something like that. I haven't had a fan. Yeah, sounds good. Uh... Look out the window? How... Apparently, just from what I've seen for the spoiler-free walk through the other routes, look out the window is kind of like the decision that locks you out of a ton of routes. I'm gonna hurry to the cafeteria. I guess so. Really? Aren't I always like this? Thinking back on it, it was an odd week. I became friends with a girl just after meeting her, someone who's older than me and had to repeat a year, who still likes the big Dango family in this day and age. And yet... Ah, I should stop thinking about this. I told you, I'm fine. And like I told you, I'm always like this. He takes out a 10,000 yen bill. What? He has, he has a thousand dollars? No, he has a hundred dollars. Where did you get that Ben Franklin? <laughs> he inserts the bill into the ticket machine. Are you sure? Well, dang, that's actually quite generous of you, Sunohara. Like, he's actually sharing his money with us. Ah! Da -da 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 I start from the top and go quickly down the machine, hitting every button. Why? Why? Why would you do that? Pickles, pickles, pickles! I mash the button for pickles, the least popular item on the menu. <laughs> wow! You are the worst. The entire bill has been turned into food tickets. <laughs> you are such a jerk! <laughs> Sunohara's hands are now full of tickets. He does, as a matter of fact. No, I think you're the best. You'll just laugh this off and forgive me like you always do anyway, so calm down. You just wasted a Ben Franklin on pickles? <laughs> there must be something sketchy behind those 10k, probably. <laughs> There's some normal items in there, too. Take a closer look. <laughs> It's times like this where I feel so bad for Sunohara, and I feel kind of very annoyed by Tomoya. This poor guy. He grows sadder and sadder by the item. When I see Sunohara in this hilariously priceless situation, a thought comes to mind. Yeah, this is how my normal life goes. You need a better life! That reminds me. There's no one next to me. I guess I was alone when I returned to the classroom. Gee, I wonder why Sunohara didn't want to join you! He's probably off wandering around somewhere again. This is so mind-numbing. I can't let off any stress without Sunohara around. I leave the classroom for a refresher. Guess I'll go grab a drink. The cafeteria is deserted. I purchase an 80 yen paper juice box from the vending machine and head back to class while sipping it. Of course, food and drink are banned in the halls, but the worst a teacher would do is chew me out. A girl is running toward me, and for whatever reason, she's stopping in front of me. Uh. Hey, Fuko. 
Yeah, I'm bored. Let's make her drink juice. Oh, crap. I just realized I screwed up. I actually... I apparently... Oh, no. Okay. I gotta look. I actually have to look out the window for some reason. That's okay. I'm glad I saw the pickle scene. I take a casual glance out of the window, and this will forever lock me on the Foucault route. I see nothing but contrasting blues and greens at first. Then I move my eyes down. She's there. Furukawa. You came. She's eating some bread in a way that I can only describe as vigorously. It's just like the first time I saw her. Last week I was down there next to her. How does looking out the window possibly affect the Foucault route? I don't get it. But now I'm on the side of those students who look down at her. I hear Sunohara's voice. Oh yeah. Just then, Furukawa notices me. I wonder if she can tell that it's me. She takes the bread away from her mouth and puts it on top of her lap. She's gazing in my direction with a face that looks like it's on the verge of tears. I wonder if she's thinking about Saturday. She shifts her eyes down to the ground. Furukawa. I should leave. I can tell she doesn't want to see me for any longer than she already has. And yet, I can't move. Sunohara keeps on calling out to me. But, I just stay there. Furukawa peers back up again. And then, she raises a hand. And waves it in my direction. She's making an effort to smile at me. Just like we asked her to. I want to repay her. For putting everything she can into making herself do that. If she still needs me, that is. Take this, Sunohara. I toss my bag to Sunohara and run down the hall. I'm serious about this, too. And Sunohara gets to keep his Ben Franklin. Yay! Furukawa has gone back to eating by the time I get there. I sit down next to her. <sighs> I don't have anything to eat, so I'll just have to wait. When I wasn't looking, Furukawa had taken the bread away from her mouth. Yeah, don't worry. Didn't I tell you that if you called for me, I'd come? Oh, that's nothing. Wait till you hear what he did to Sunohara in an alternate timeline. None of that matters. You were about to cry, and I couldn't let that happen. You were about to cry just now, weren't you? Then I'm glad I'm here. Now you don't have to, right? I hear her sniffle. When I look over, she's crying. No! Tears are dripping down her face and off her jaw. The bitten off part of the bread she's holding soaks them up like a sponge. She must have been bracing herself the whole while. Probably worried all this time and having the whole weekend to just think about things likely made matters worse. I curse myself for being so damn insensitive. I snatch the bread away from her hands and tear off the part wet with her tears. I toss it into my mouth. What? That's weird. <laughs> you just ate her tears. And her lunch. Honestly, eating your, eating her lunch is the more... The more egregious thing. I'm not sure what she thinks after seeing that. It's just... I felt like drinking her tears, that's all. That's, that sounds like something a psychopath would say. I just felt like drinking her tears. <laughs> I guess it's... Because it's my fault she was crying them in the first place. You know, you might be an idiot, but that's fine. You you are so tactless. Because I'm an idiot, too. We're in the same place. A place far away from all those people who are good at getting on in the world and playing politics. I chew on the bread. For some reason, her tears remind me of something I tasted long ago. You've tasted tears before? Of her people's? <laughs> It's the same taste as the tears I once cried as a kid. Well, it's salt water. It's it's all it's all gonna taste kind of the same, I bet. 